You guys, it's Purse Sale Friday. Hi guys, I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale and it is Purse Sale Friday. So I don't have an unboxing this week. Um, I missed the America's Thrift Supply launch last week, and but I did order a thread up name brand handbag box, but it has not arrived yet. So we are doing just a old school per sale, no unboxing. All right, so I have a bunch of shoes, I have purses, and I even have some funsy um, socks. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but first, let's go over the ordering instructions. I will be putting these ordering instructions up on the screen throughout the video in case you're fast forwarding. Um, hopefully you'll catch at least one of them. Please follow the ordering instructions. It is very important, especially the sold list, but we'll get into that. Let's show them on the screen now. Okay, so most importantly, please make sure you're checking the sold list. When you're done watching the video though, you have to refresh it. You can't just watch the video and then scroll down and look at the sold list because there probably won't be anything there. So when you're done watching, go out of the video and come back in or just press the um, arrow that's in a circular motion um, on your screen or your, um, your phone or anything like that and you will be able to refresh the page and you'll see the most up-to-date list. I do start with a pending payment list, which means I sent an invoice out to somebody and I'm waiting for their payment. You can definitely feel free to email me to be backup buyer. There are people who ghost on me or change their mind, so feel free to be a backup buyer for the item. Please note on the instructions, I updated it. Um, I do have a new cancellation policy, so make sure you're reading that information. It is on all of my ordering instructions in all of my videos now, and it is also listed in the description box under this video and at the bottom of every single invoice that I send to you, okay? So please make sure you note the new cancellation policy. Um, let's just jump right into it and we're going to start off with the clearance section. These are the purses from last week that didn't sell. So we're going to lower the price today in hopes to find them a new home. All right. First up, Kate Spade. We had this beautiful purpley lilac, um, leather crossbody. I am shocked this didn't sell. It is a gorgeous color. It's almost on the verge of being like a periwinkle, but I don't think there's much blue in it. It's definitely a purple. You can see a little bit better when you get in on the inside there. So it's like a lilac. Um, so it is a crossbody. It can be adjusted, but it will stay crossbody. Um, and it is pebbled leather. It is um, structured. You have a pocket here on the front. You have the Kate Spade heat stamp in silver tone. The back has a little um, dot right there. And there is a teeny little mark right here. I think I could probably get that off, but just note that. Bottom and corners are great. The inside has a zipper closure. And there were just a few little stains down at the bottom there, like one there and one there, little teeny guys. Um, a little bit over here, not too bad though. I did clean it out completely, so it is cleaned and disinfected. So for the Lilac Kate Spade Leather Crossbody, $30. <clears throat> then we have the other Kate Spade in a black leather. This is a crossbody or a wallet on a string or a straight up wallet. You can remove the strap. The crossbody strap is not adjustable. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you need a, uh, measurements, let me know. It is in excellent condition. You have the black pebbled leather, the gold tone heat stamp. It is um, laser cut. You have a pocket on the back. You have really nice bottom and corners. Gold tone hardware. It opens up like so. And again, and um, I don't suggest putting a phone in here because the sides are open, but you do have a zippered pocket here and card slots, and then another slot here if you wanna put cash. 
Okay, so um, really cute. You can put a phone in it, it does fit, but I would just get nervous that it would fall out the sides. So just, you know, be aware of that if you do put your phone in it. So for the Kate Spade black leather crossbody, we're going to, oh, and you can, if you take this off, it becomes like an actual wallet. So if you wanna carry it like that instead. 25 bucks, you guys, take her home. <clears throat> Okay, then we had the Pour La Vitoire. I think that's how you say it. <coughs> um, it is a tan leather crossbody with a beautiful gold tone chain strap that is not adjustable, but it is removable. It is in excellent condition. There is your Pour La Vitoire um, sign, a little logo. You do have a pocket right here. This is a textured snake print. It is in excellent condition. Nice, big, chunky hardware. <coughs> the um, inside is very clean. There is your branding with your slip pocket. My phone does fit in here, but it is a very tight fit. It is six inches by five and a half inches. So just for your essentials. And for this one, we're dropping it down to $28. This is a very expensive brand, you guys. I actually picked up two bags by this brand that we're gonna show today. Um, very expensive, very good quality brand, $28. Okay, then we had the two fossils. So the first one is the <coughs> Fossil Leather and Nylon Crossbody. It is um, a leather crossbody strap, not adjustable, not removable. So if you need a measurement, let me know. Um, Dallas just came in, so let me just shut the door. Okay, sorry. So leather in the front, fossil. You have the pocket here on the front. The back is like a black nylon. And the bottom is um, leather. This is in a very good condition. It's like a little camera style bag. Uh, camera bag style, I should say. Zipper closure. The inside is one compartment. And you just have a zipper pocket. This might be vintage or at least borderline vintage, fossil, leather, and nylon crossbody bag in black. And we're dropping this down to only 20 bucks, you guys. Grab it at 20 bucks, it's in excellent condition. Then we had the other excellent condition, fossil. This one, I put it in like new condition. Um, it is stunning. Mm, the leather on this smells amazing. It is black. You have your gold tone key. It has two straps on it. Um, this top handle shoulder strap is not adjustable or removable, but this one is adjustable and removable, crossbody to shoulder. And it is in, like I said, like new condition. It is the same on both sides. It is slightly on the large side excellent excellent condition if you guys know fossil leather it is absolutely stunning the inside is one compartment and it is like new on the inside I'm not sure anyone even ever carried this um, it just doesn't have the tags so here is the inside with your branding zipper pocket and slips all right gorgeous black leather Shoulder or crossbody, fossil, $50, five zero. <clears throat> okay, we had the Henry Bendel um, backpack in a purple and black. This is a convertible bag. You can adjust it to be a um, like a crossbody. Um, this is one strap, so you can put it in different part points of the bag and make it whatever you would like. Um, this is like a canvas and it is adjustable. Gold tone hardware. Here is your Henry Bendel. It's got some fuzzies on it. There are just a little bit of um, fading marks, fading to the corners. It is not terrible, but there is fading to each corner. Okay. Um, the ins so this is a, uh, I think this is faux leather. There's, I don't really think that there's anything saying otherwise, but 
um, black with the stripes and then you open this up there is a little bit of staining right here under the strap but you do not see it once the strap is down and then just remember Henry Bendel products are no longer in production so um, whatever you see out on the market or in thrift stores that is it the inside is just one compartment very clean all right so for the Henry Bendel uh, purple black purple backpack we are going to drop it all the way down to $38 all right I want to see this go home to somebody and still keep it out there and being seen $38 Henry Bendel then we had the Pourfois snake print wallet on a string or strap. Um, this is faux leather, I believe. It is a crossbody. You cannot adjust it, but you can remove it to be a strictly zip around wallet. There is the brand. It is in excellent condition. Beautiful colors with the pink and the purple. I mean the well, it's like a pinky purple and green. Excellent condition. Both um, zipper hardwares are in great condition. They both zip around very nicely as I get the thing stuck inside. So one section has a slot, slot, zipper, slot, slot. Other side has all of your card slots. All right, you can fit a phone in here. If you wanted to carry your phone inside, it does fit. I would recommend taking off a pop socket if you have one. Or you can remove the strap and keep this strictly as a wallet. So for the Pourfois, we are doing 18 bucks. 18 bucks on the wallet on the chain string. All right, then we had two coach left over from last week. The first one is the black leather shoulder bag with the pink tag. Um, this is black with gold tone hardware. It is a strict shoulder bag. It has the, um, like the, I guess it's not patent leather, but it's like a shiny snake print leather, like a glittery snake print leather. You have a pocket on the back. Handles are in great condition. Bottom and corners, excellent. You have your coach on the side here. Um, the inside has a zipper pocket, I mean a zipper closure. And one compartment on the inside. And you have your Creed with your zipper pocket and your slips. So really great condition on this one. And we're gonna drop it down to only 40 bucks, you guys, 40 bucks. Um, then the other one we had was the Kiss Lock. This is also a strict shoulder bag. It is also black leather, but this one has a Kiss Lock on the inside. So make sure you're very clear with which one that you would like. You do have your hang tag here. It has like a um, pleated look to the leather. It is in very good condition on the bottom and corners. Handles are great. The interior has three sections. So the back section has a snap closure, and that is where you'll find your Creed and your zipper pocket. Then the middle section is your Kiss Lock, and there is a little bit of gold tone wear on the Kiss Lock. Inside the Kiss Lock, you have a nothing. Then the other side, which is a snap closure, there are just a few tiny little stains at the bottom, like right there. And there was another one that I can't even see right now. But overall, really nice condition, few tiny little flaws. Coach Kiss Lock, $45. All right, then we had the Michael Kors. So the first one up, we had the tote. So I did fix the handles on this. They were just 
um, separating a little bit. So I just glued them back together. They're good to go. It is a nylon and saffiano leather, large Michael Kors black taupe with gold tone hardware. This is the Michael Kors top of the line collection. Um, zipper pocket in the front, long double shoulder handles. This is a pocket in the back and you can put your um, luggage up through the bottom. Um, there were a couple teeny tiny little white dots right there that I don't know what it is and they don't come off, but it's just right there. And otherwise it's in great condition. Handles now are good. The inside is a zip closure and it's one compartment. And on one side you have your branding with your zip and slips. And then the other side you have a big slip pocket. Very clean on the inside, black, nylon, and saffiano leather, large Michael Kors tote. Dropping this one down to $45, you guys insane um okay then we had the other michael kors which is right here this is the crossbody in a brown saffiano leather it is adjustable but it will stay crossbody um it has the gold tone chain detail on the um strap and it is in very good condition this is um gold tone up here you have a pocket on the front back is nice corners and bottom are great inside zip closure hardware is great this is also a top of the line the michael kors collection not michael by michael kors this is the zipper pocket and slip so excellent condition all the way around on the brown michael kors saffiano leather crossbody and we're gonna drop it down to only $35. <clears throat> okay, then we had, uh, let me take all these guys down. Then we had the sack, <coughs> black leather crossbody. This is great for on the go. It's very, very lightweight. It is leather, it is black. The strap does not adjust, but it does remove in case you wanna just have it as a pouch in your purse. It is a shiny black leather, but it's not patent leather. And it's got silver tone stud details. It is in excellent condition. You have your little hang tag right here. The inside zip closure, and you have your branding. No pockets on the inside. Phone will definitely fit, no problem at all. So for the sack black leather crossbody, 25 bucks. Oops. All right, then we had the B. Mikowski. <coughs> you guys, this bag is in excellent condition. I, there, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It is in super excellent condition. It is a B. Mikowski silver, super soft leather shoulder bag. Um, tons of pockets you have a big pouch pocket on the front you have the lovely hang tag here you have a zipper pocket down this side you have another zipper pocket down this side it has silver tone hardware you have your pouch pocket in the back you have excellent condition on your bottom and corners handles are excellent longer shoulder handles the inside is a magnet closure and then you have three sections. So see that back section right here with the zipper? That is your, the back zippered section where you have your branding slips and zip. The inside is incredibly clean. That's your center section that is not, there's no closure on that. And then the other side zip section has nothing in it. Very, very clean. Very soft, silver, metallic leather, B. Mikowski shoulder bag, $45, you guys. That's insane for a like new leather bag by B. Mikowski. $45, grab it. Valley, there's nobody here.
Anyways, next up is J Tote. I'm surprised nobody grabbed this one. It is so cool. <coughs> it is though mostly for like a laptop, but you don't have to use the laptop section. It is leather. It's by J Tote. It is a beautiful like pebbled with a little bit of distressing brown leather laptop or messenger bag. You got these awesome bamboo handles on the top. You do have the adjustable and removable crossbody or shoulder strap. It is leather on one side, <coughs> excuse me, leather on one side, fabric canvas on the other. These are functioning pockets here on the front. The back has a big zipper pocket. Excellent condition on the bottom and corners. The inside has two zippered sections. <coughs> the back section is where you have your um, laptop holder and a large slip pocket. And then the other side, the other zippered pocket has your branding with a zipper pocket and slips. Very clean. This could definitely be um, unisex as well and you have little tassels on the sides. So J tote, and we're gonna drop it to 40 bucks, you guys. 40 bucks for this large leather bag. Whoa, I must be insane for selling that big bag, big leather bag for 40 bucks. Um, okay, lastly, <clears throat> we have the Korean leather key holder. It is a beautiful soft leather with a little Korean scene on it. The inside has your six gold tone key holders and you have a slot here if you wanna hide some cash. Um, you could put some coin in this zippered pocket and you have another um, little slip pocket. So beautiful leather made in Korea key holder, excellent condition. $10. All right, I'm going to get my water and take a drink because my allergies are way better, but they still start to aggravate me when I talk a lot. So I'm going to grab my water and I'm going to put up the ordering instructions and then we're going to get into the thrifted purse section. Okay, so remember when you're done watching the video, you have to refresh it, go out, come back in and then check the sold list in the comment section, okay? Okay, so first up, I don't know if you can see a little, take a little peek right here. I'm selling my MCM bag. I love it, I adore it, but it's just too big. Um, I absolutely love it, I do. It's in really great condition. I just, it's just too big. So when I do carry this, I literally have to stuff a towel in it along with the rest of my stuff just to make it look like it's not empty. <laughs> so I'm going to sell it and then the money that I get from it, I'm going to buy a smaller one. So if anybody has a smaller one or maybe you wanna do a trade, um, let me know. I am looking for the same color um, or I would consider a black one or a white one. Um, so let me know. Um, or if you have one just to sell me, that would be great too. Um, but anyway, I'm going to sell her. She is a strict shoulder bag. It is the large bucket bag. Um, the leather is in beautiful condition. I did go around and um, condition it really nicely and fix her up especially nice for you guys. So you have the plate here on the front, you have the drawstring. Um, these lines are like that, that's how it came to me. I bought this from another YouTuber. Um, so it is in very good condition. I only carried it probably a handful of times. Um, <clears throat> there are the corners. If you need like closer up pictures, let me know but the corners are in really great shape. There's very, very, very minor wear to the corners. There's the bottom. Um, here is the strap. Okay. 
try to go a little slower so you can see it's in really nice shape there's the underside of the strap okay there's the top like around there is you know there is a little bit of um uh like a like lightening of the strap like you can kind of see it in here um but you know it's not a new bag but it is in really great shape um so you're going to open up the drawstring and then it's one compartment on the inside the inside is a very clean oh i'll take my bobby pin back so there's the inside, there's your um, branding with your zipper pocket and a slip pocket. As you can see, it's very clean in there. Um, I think there's just a little bit of darkening along that wall, like see right there. But other than that, she's in really great shape, you guys. Um, obviously, if you know me, I would never steer you wrong. So I... <laughs> Sorry, male lady. Okay, so I'm only selling her for $325 and shipping will be included um, within the US. So um, even if you get this and something else today, um, the shipping is still included. So um, $325, beautiful. It is, as you can see, it's a larger size. Too large for me. I love it, but I just can't do it. She's too big. So 325, and again, if you need to see closer up videos or photos, just let me know. All right, I'm gonna actually leave you right up there. All right, <clears throat> next up is a Radley. So this is black leather and a, I guess like a polyurethane. It's um, not like a coated canvas or anything, it's, um, like an actual just PU, I guess. Um, but it is super cute. It has top handles and it also has a nylon um, shoulder or crossbody strap that is adjustable. Silver tone hardware, you cannot remove the strap. And like I said, you have the leather top handles. Here is your leather Radley dog. This is a white um, polyurethane that has, what does it say on it? <clears throat> Radley London with the floral. It is in like new condition. You have a back little slip pocket here. Bottom and corners are excellent. Um, the inside has a zipper pocket. <coughs> and it is one, one compartment on the inside when I rip the paper. It's it even more fuzzies everywhere. All right, inside, super clean. It is like new. You have your zipper pocket here. And then on the other side, you have slip pockets. And you do still have all of the paperwork. So that will come with the bag as well. So beautiful condition, like new, Radley, white and black floral. And we are going to do this one for $48. I'm giving you guys a really good deal on this. I got a really good deal on it, so I pass the goodness to you guys. Remember, as subscribers, you guys get the deals before they're listed on my eBay and Poshmark for sometimes double the price. Um, it's usually between like 30 and 50% more on my eBay and Posh. So 48 bucks, grab it now. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> okay, like I mentioned before, I have two Pour La Vitois. I don't know how that's how you say it. Don't come at me in the comments. I'll block you. <laughs> All right, so Pour La Vitois, like I said, no clue how to say it. I'm going with it though. We have the large one. This is gorgeous. This is just a um, top handle bag. It does fit under the arm. It is a beautiful leather. It is large. It has black leather. It has this embossed um, brown and beige. 
and it has this super soft orange leather. It is like butter. All right, so you have your Pour La Vitoire little logo right there. There is the back. It has silver tone hardware, chunky zipper pulls. I think the only thing wrong with this bag is there are a couple marks on the bottom. <coughs> Other than that, she is beautiful, okay? Handles are great. These sides can be zipped up. So if you don't, if you want it to be more structured, they can, oh, I don't guess they don't stand up much more than before, but. And then you have the inside, which is a magnet closure. It is one large compartment. Look at that. If you like to see all your stuff, big wide mouth opening. There's your branding right here, your slip pocket, and more slips. Clean, beautiful. I guess you can kind of tuck in the sides too. Pour La Vitoire, and we're gonna do the large one for $68, beautiful leather. Then we have the smaller one. This one is black leather. This one's more of a satchel. It has the top handles, but it also has the removable and adjustable um, shoulder or crossbody strap. It has gold tone hardware, and it has, um, the edge coat is like a dark red. It's like a maroon, like wine, deep red. Um, really nice bag. Again, Pour La Vitoire right here. Um, beautiful leather. It has these zips on the sides, if you would like to use them or not. They have like a secret pocket in there. See, there's a secret pocket on each side. Um, there's a pocket on the back. Beautiful condition on this one as well. The handles are amazing. The strap is in really great condition. This is what the inside looks like. <coughs> Hold on, I'm just checking something. Okay, so I just want to note the edge coat has just a little crack right here. But that doesn't really do anything. And there's another little one on this side. So not a big deal, but I do want to point that out. Yes, okay. So inside the bag, it looks like this. So you have a front section right here that has nothing in it, just like quick for your phone or keys. And then this section here has a magnetic, a magnetic flap that you open. Dallas, there's literally nobody here. And that's your main section of the bag. The bottom is leather. There's your branding with your zipper pocket and your slips, okay? Beautiful condition, Pour La Vitoire, black leather, and this one is $55, okay? Five, five. Next up, we have a black leather, Patricia Nash. I don't think I've ever seen a black leather one. So this is a crossbody. It can be adjusted, but it will stay crossbody. It's got the black leather with the raw suede on the back of the strap. This is the bag. It's kind of small to medium. You have your Patricia Nash right here. It's like a very um, textured. I don't know if that would be considered pebbled, maybe. Um, beautiful. There's the button right there on the front. Beautiful condition, bottom and corners. That is the back. So you pop open the front here. There are a couple little marks in the suede and a little bit of, you know, color loss from like the zipper hitting it and stuff. Um, but then you have some pen holders, good place to keep your pens, not inside the bag where they stain. And then you have a little slip pocket here. In the very back, you have a secret pocket. And then you open the bag and you have your traditional interior with your um, logo, branding, and your zip, and your slips. 
Okay, so just a little bit of wear on the inside flap here. And there's a little teeny bit of like, you know, wear, a little bit of wear to the back of the strap, but nothing major. Beautiful black leather, Patricia Nash crossbody, and we're doing this one for $45. Next up, we have a very fun and possible vintage Billabong crossbody. This can be um, shoulder or crossbody. It's adjustable, black uh, metal hardware, nylon um, strap, and it is a nice canvas in this like purpley blue motif, little Aztec motif. It is a smaller size. Um, you have a zipper pocket. This is in excellent condition, you guys. Zipper pocket here in the front. There's the back. Corners and bottom, excellent. You have the top here with a zipper closure. Then you have the inside with a zipper pocket. All right, excellent condition. Billabong canvas, shoulder or crossbody bag, possibly vintage and we're gonna do it for 24 bucks. Really nice on that one. Great like beach bag, um, or like travel to a beach bag. <laughs> All right, next up we have Jack George's. You guys know I love this brand. The thick leather is beautiful. It's very similar to Spikes and Sparrow or like a Portland leather. This is a crossbody or shoulder. It can be adjusted with the silver tone hardware. You have the leather on one side, the canvas on the other, and it is a beautiful, like medium size bag. You have the tooling or the embossment on the front. So beautiful, it's in really great condition. This is a functioning pocket. There's one side, beautiful. The other side, gorgeous. The Jack George's is right there on the bottom of the front. Corners and bottom, beautiful. Nice, thick brown leather back. Strap is gorgeous. The inside is a zipper closure and it's one compartment. And you guys know the traditional Jack George's interior. Stripes with the zipper pocket and the slips, okay? Very clean inside and out. Jack George's brown leather and we're doing this one for $45. Okay, um, next up we have American Eagle. This is like new, it is leather. There is nothing wrong with it. It is so nice. It's got this nice thick black pebbled leather. It has a top handle, two top handles, or the crossbody strap. Um, this is as short as it goes, so I think it'll definitely be a crossbody bag. Um, it does go longer. It has silver tone hardware. This strap can be removed. Um, you have your hang tag here. Okay, beautiful. Like I said, it's in like new condition, so there is nothing that I saw wrong with it. Um, beautiful, supple leather, top zip closure. Inside is one compartment. And you have your branding on one side right here. And then the other side has your slip pockets. Okay, so beautiful condition, just a little fuzzy down there from the paper. Um, gorgeous American Eagle, black leather, crossbody, 45 bucks. All right, um, let's pause. We'll show the ordering instructions and then we'll keep it moving and we'll start back up with the furlough right here. Okay, you guys, make sure you're refreshing the video before you check the sold list, okay? You have to check the sold list. I'm not gonna answer you if you say, is this available, is that available? You'll know if it's available if you refresh the video and check the list. I keep it up to date with every sale, okay? All right, so this is Furla. This is such a beautiful bag. It is a strict handbag. 
There are D-rings for a shoulder or crossbody, but it did not come with one. I think this bag is perfect just as a handbag. It is, um, it might be, it might be vintage, I'm not sure, but it is a beautiful black structured embossed croc purse. It is so nice. It has the furla on the front here with the gold tone buckle. Um, there is hardly any wear to it. There's like a teeny little bit of gold tone loss toward the top right here of the button, but hardly noticeable. <clears throat> it is in beautiful condition. You have the furla heat stamp. Where is it? Right here on the back. I did give this girl a good cleaning and conditioning because she was dry and dusty. Somebody did not take care of her. So I'm glad to be able to save her, clean her up, and hopefully give her another life with one of you guys. So the handles are amazing. Now to get into the bag, you can just go in like this, but you have to pop this open, kind of like the Birkin, and then you can open it up completely, okay? So you have a lot going on in this little lady. So let me um, take out the stuffing and I'll show you <coughs> everything. So she's got four sections. Well, three sections and then two zippered. <coughs> Dallas, he's being like extra barky today and I'm not really sure why. So three sections and then two zippered sections. So the back section here has nothing in it, but everything, all the fabric says furla. Then you have a zippered section here. Okay, then you have this main compartment where you have your furla made in Italy, genuine leather. All right, and then you're switching to the other side, a zipper pocket and your front section, okay? Very clean, very, very good condition. All of the hardware says, whoop, other side. All of the hardware says furla. Are you okay, Dallas? right there um so then you can bu buckle her back up so for the furla are you all right i'm gonna have to pause the video um furla black croc leather 68 dollars. i'm gonna do a really good deal on this you guys these furla is very expensive 68 dollars okay we're good all right so next up we have a few coach bags so first one up is this hobo um i had gotten this one in brown but it was like way smaller so i found this one in black <coughs> it is one of the more expensive um designs but i'm gonna give you guys a good deal you have your hang tag here this is all like suede um and leather there was one part that had a little bit of wear. Let me see where that was. See, now I can't even find it, so I think we're good. Oh, okay, here. So on the silver leather right here, there is just a little bit of wear. Um, so you have the black canvas, CCs, you have the oh my gosh okay never mind this is ripped damn yeah so look okay never mind i didn't see that we're going to skip on this one um if i can fix it i will bring it back if not um i might clearance it out super cheap so that will be Never mind. Okay, so next we're gonna go with the Coach Legacy Duffel Studded. Not sure why it's called a duffel, but it is. So this is a very rare coach bag. Um, it is a shoulder bag. It has a little bit longer of a strap for a shoulder bag. Um, it can be adjusted a little bit longer. I don't think it can be um, crossbody though. It's a little small for that, but it is a larger size coach. This is, like I said, the Legacy Duffel in with the studs. 
It is a beautiful brown leather. It does have a little indent, but that might come out. Um, there's your coach heat stamp in gold. You have the um, tassels, your hang tag. The back has a zipper pocket. There is a little, like you see this light, two lines right here, very light. All the studs are intact. Bottom and corners, beautiful. Strap, beautiful. The leather on this is so smooth. It is like, I just wanna eat it. <laughs> the inside has one compartment. And it is clean on the interior. There's your Creed with your zipper pocket and your slips. Um, these bags are very expensive online, but I will do a very good deal for you guys. These start at $100 used. So I will give this one to you guys. I will offer two for 90. Okay, nine zero, and it is gorgeous. Coach Legacy Duffel Studded. I'm gonna put you up here. Okay, we're gonna continue with a Coach Crossbody. This one is a larger crossbody. It has black leather and patent leather. You have your hang tag here. The strap, so this strap can be taken off and fed through those loops to make it a shoulder bag, okay? Otherwise, it can be a crossbody. Patent leather strap is in excellent condition. You have the front here, which is a, well, you have the coach right there. You have the front flap, which is a pocket. Bottom and corners are excellent. That is the back. The inside is one compartment. And it is clean on the interior. There is your Creed with your zipper pocket and your slips. Okay? So, Coach black leather and patent leather crossbody, or you can make it into a shoulder bag. We are doing this one for $50, five zero. Then we have a black patent leather shoulder bag. Make sure you are distinguishing which ones, which one that you would like in your email. You have the black leather and patent leather, and then you have the all patent leather. I don't normally pick up patent leather bags, you guys, but this bag is in such good condition, I couldn't leave it there. So this is a Coach black patent leather shoulder bag. I added this one, it didn't have one. I added a white leather hang tag to kind of pop some color on that. Um, <laughs> the hardware is in excellent condition. Strap is in excellent condition. You can, um, elongate the strap by probably about an inch. Um, bottom and corners are excellent. The interior has a snap closure. It is the same on both sides. <laughs> the inside is a pretty green. Zipper pocket, slips. The only thing with the inside is that there's a couple of little marks right there. All right, the rest looks good. So for the black patent leather coach shoulder bag, it is also $50, five zero. So please make sure you're not just saying the black coach bag since there are multiples in black. Make sure you're very clear. You can even send a screenshot. <coughs> All right, then we have a vintage made in Costa Rica, black, uh, brown leather fortune cookie shoulder bag. <coughs> okay, so it can be as 
you know, as much as you have in it will be how much it is. It looks stuffed. It is a like a hobo shoulder bag. You can adjust the strap to be maybe three inches longer. You have your hang tag. It is in beautiful condition. Beautiful brown leather. Gorgeous. Okay, the inside is one compartment. <coughs> and you have your Creed that says that it was made in Costa Rica. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna show you this? Okay, with your zipper pocket. And there is a pen mark right, right down there. Okay, and I think that's another one underneath right there. Other than that, she's good. So you got your brown leather Costa Rican coach fortune cookie shoulder bag, and we're gonna do this one for 75. It is gorgeous. Okay, let me pause and we're gonna show the ordering instructions and I'll be right back. Okay, so make sure you're checking the sold list after you refresh the video. Go out of the video, come back in, and check the sold list in the comment section. You'll know if something's available if you check the list. Okay, up next, we have a brand new with tag leather bag by King Ranch Saddle something. King Ranch Saddle Works, I think it is. I don't know where the website went. Okay, well, it's King Ranch Saddle something. Um, this is a concealed carry shoulder bag. It is amazing. So the tag is right here. It doesn't have the price on it though. Um, it is a thick structured leather shoulder bag. It is absolutely stunning. It is in this like red and black, almost like marbling. <coughs> nice sturdy handle. Shoulder, it's a shoulder strap. You have a tassel here, you got these tassels. That is the logo for King Ranch. There is your bottom and corners. Okay, so now the concealed carry section is in the back here. Both sides can be accessed. I will show it in a second. I wanna get the filling out so I can get my hand in there properly. So you're gonna open this up by opening up the magnetic little flap. And then on the inside, it's one compartment. Okay, here is the inside. You have your zipper pocket and your slip. And now back here, this concealed carry is so cool because look at this. It is padded. I don't know if you can see that. It is padded and it comes with a holster. So your gun's not just flying around in there. You guys can't see that. Hold on. No, we still can't see that. There. Okay, so there is a holster in there that you can, um, Put your gun into your pistol into okay so all my all my pistol carrying ladies out there this is for you <laughs> um, this is $65 if you look on their website their 
bags are very expensive. Their wristlets are like $95. Um, if I remember, I will put up the screenshot of the website and the prices on the side of the screen there. So 65 bucks. Mm, it smells amazing. King Ranch. All right, <clears throat> next up is Banana Republic. This is a um, structured, well, it's not like super structured, little doctor bag. It is just a handbag. There are no spots for a larger, uh, longer strap. So it is a strict handbag, little doctor bag, kind of like medium size. Banana Republic black leather with the silver tone stud details. And look at the corners. Such nice condition, beautiful. Look at those awesome corners. This, this bag is very Alexander Wang for sure. Almost even McQueen, a little bit. Okay, so the inside handles are great. The outside is, is amazing. The inside is one compartment. Banana Republic there with your zipper pocket and your slips. All right, beautiful black leather handbag by Banana Republic, $48. Next up we have, where are my New England ladies? New England ladies, this is Spartina. This is the Northeast, um, they call this the It has Dolphin Bay, I think, but it's if you look online, they call this the New England tote. Um, it is in like new condition. It is faux leather and um, faux Safiano leather. It has Cape Cod over here on this side with Martha's Vineyard, a little bit of Massachusetts in Newport, Rhode Island. There's your Spartina hang tag right there in gold tone. The other side has Connecticut and Long Island. Here is where I am. I would be kind of like up here because here's Peekskill, that's Westchester County. I'm in Dutchess County, so I'm kind of up here. Um, Sleepy Hollow, then you have the city with Brooklyn. So really, really fun bag. Mystic Connecticut is there, Block Island. So it is in very good condition. If you live in New England or will be traveling to New England, this is like the most awesomest bag. Um, handles are great. It's in like a beige faux leather. The inside is a zipper closure and super duper clean. There's your Spartina with a um, zipper pocket and three slips. All right, so this bag is super expensive online, you guys. Um, there is one listed for $115 used. Their wristlets start at 50, $40 to $50 used. So I will just do this one for you guys for $55. It is in like new condition, $55. I think it's awesome. Spartina. All right. <clears throat> Next up, we have a possible vintage Tianello uh, crossbody bag, and it can be shoulder. You can go shorter on the strap, and it could be a shoulder bag. It is a beautiful brown leather. Nice shape on this one. It is in excellent condition. Gold tone hardware, beautiful strap. You have the tassel right there, the large Tianello hang tag. There are two zippered compartments in this bag, one with the tassel pull, and that has nothing in it. The other one with the Tianello pull <coughs> has your branding and your zipper pocket. Beautiful brown leather, Tianello, shoulder or crossbody, brown leather, $40, $40. <coughs> There's nobody here, Dallas. Sorry. 
Okay, next up we have another Tianello. This one is silver. This is like a light silver metallic leather shoulder bag. Um, it has silver tone hardware, really pretty stitching down the front. You have your TNLO to the back, or you can wear this way to the front, whichever you would like with the zipper pocket. There is some minor little itty bitty bits of wear to the corners. Nothing completely major, but there is a little bit. Um, handles are great. There are just maybe two little Oh wait, that's not even, oh yeah, that's not even cracking. It's the seam, so we're good. Um, then the inside does have a little bit of, uh, a couple little cracks in the edge coat. It is a magnet, magnet closure with three sections, the middle being zippered. <clears throat> the back section, has your branding with your zipper pocket. You have your middle zip. And then the front section has slip pockets. Clean interior, few minor issues. And we're gonna do this one for $45. Okay, it is a larger shoulder bag leather TNLO. All right, next up we have Toomey. So this is a black leather Toomey shoulder bag. Okay, it is beautiful. It has silver tone hardware. It does have a little indent in the leather right here. It has a turn lock front. There is the back. The handles are beautiful bottom and corners are beautiful so the interior you turn the turn lock here and open it up and she's got three sections with the middle being zippered the back section has your um, branding with your zipper pocket then you have your middle zip section which has nothing in it and then you have the front section, which has a card slot, slip, and pen holder, pen holders. All right, so for the Toomey black leather shoulder bag, these are very expensive bags, especially the leather ones, but I'm going to do a really good deal for you guys and do $65. A lot of these leather bags start at $100 used. So 65 on the Toomey. All right, then we have a white leather hammock. I almost kept this one for myself. If it doesn't sell, I will probably keep it. So it is a crossbody bag. You can remove the strap, feed it through the loop, and then connect it here, and it becomes a shoulder bag, okay? So shoulder or crossbody, silver tone with the leather on the top of the strap. It is like a um, embossed square print. There is your hammock on the hardware. Um, it does open up a little bit bigger if you have a lot of stuff in it. This is the back. It does have a, a little mark, if you can kind of see it right here very faint. Here is another pocket. It is suede on the inside and the inside is so clean. You have a little pocket here, also very clean with the suede. There is the bottom. This side has the front pocket, also very clean with the suede. And then your main compartment is on top. And this is also very clean with the suede as well. You have two slip pockets, okay? Um, there is just a little mark right there. The outside, um, it doesn't have very much like discoloration at all. Maybe a little bit on this handle here because you hold it to zip. But for a white bag, it's um, actually pretty nice. So this is Hammett 
leather, crossbody or shoulder. Um, these are very expensive bags. I will do $65 on it, $65 on the Hammett. All right, now we have a leather Calvin Klein. This is such a beautiful color. This is like a teal leather. It's a blue green. There's your Calvin Klein heat stamp, your hang tag in silver tone. This is a functioning pocket here on the front. It is a strict shoulder bag and it is in excellent condition. There is the handle on the top. Okay, beautiful, beautiful leather, beautiful condition, teal, blue green, snap closure on the top, <coughs> one compartment <laughs> on the inside. So over here is where it has the zipper pocket and the branding that says Calvin Klein leather. And then the other side has your slip pockets. Um, yeah, okay, that was just fuzz. All right, so for the teal leather Calvin Klein shoulder bag, $45. <coughs> we have a Dooney and Burke like new blue leather shoulder bag. This has like that, um, it's almost like a embossed leather. Okay, it is a shoulder bag. You can adjust it. Actually, I don't think you can. You might be able to, but it's not gonna really make a difference. Maybe not an inch, not even. Um, but beautiful blue, deep blue leather. This is in such nice condition, you guys. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So beautiful. Medium size. There's your Dooney on the front. It is in gold tone. There's your strap. Beautiful. Zipper closure. One compartment on the inside. There's your key fob. The inside is your beautiful red branding, slip and zip. Two more slips. And then your serial number is there. All right, <coughs> there's nothing wrong with the interior. Beautiful like new Dooney and Burke blue leather shoulder bag, $75. Next up, we have a black leather shoulder bag by Badly Mishka. Badly Mishka. Black leather. It's kind of stuffed a little funny. Um, this is your shoulder strap. It is removable, so you can either add a um, longer one or, let me, I'll fix that D-ring. Um, add a longer one if you would like and remove that one. There is a teeny bit of wear on the turn lock here. Be the leather is so soft, you guys. It's really nice condition. Bottom and corners are beautiful. The inside, just turn that to open. And you have three compartments. Middle being zipped. The back section has your branding with a zipper pocket. There is a little stain there. Yeah, little stain down there. <coughs> the middle zip section has nothing in it. Um, there are like three little stains down there, teeny tiny. There is a teeny bit of wear on the um, zipper, nothing major. <coughs> And then your front section has um, slip pockets. All right, so beautiful, super duper soft, black leather, B. Macaus, Bagley Mishka, <laughs> same initials. 
And we're gonna do this one for 48. <coughs> okay. Next up we have this beauty. This is a leather bag by Via Spiga. Via Spiga. It has embroidery on the strap. This will be a crossbody if you're a little on the shorter side. Um, I'm 5'4 and it hits on the hip where it's supposed to, but if you're a little bit taller, it might be a little short for you. Um, so just, you know, this would be like just a shoulder bag then. Just so let me know if you need any measurements. Um, there is the brand. Um, so it is a tan or like a brown leather with silver tone hardware. It is like new. You have a pocket here on the back. Excellent, excellent. Nice, thick brown leather. You're gonna pop this open like this. Okay, the micro suede on the back there. Two compartments. It still has the paper on the zipper pull. And then you have this section here, which has nothing. Phone will fit, no problem. They did put the, this is not from the thrift store I bought it from, so I don't know what that is, but that's that's just from the thrift store. My, my thrift store I got this from does not do that, so I don't know where this originally came from. But anyway, just so you know, there is writing on the inside. So for the Via Spiga, beautiful embroidered strap, brown leather purse, we're going to do $48. Then we have a purple leather Rebecca Minkoff crossbody. It has the leather on the strap. It is adjustable. It will stay crossbody. Silver tone chain detail. This, I've sold this one in the larger size in a few different colors. This is a smaller size. It is in beautiful condition. It has Rebecca Minkoff right here on the bottom. There is the teeniest little dot of um, silver tone loss right on the high point right here, but it's hardly noticeable. There's the back with your Rebecca Minkoff. You have a pocket on the back. Beautiful condition, bottom and corners. The inside you twist to turn and open. It does come with the dust bag. And then the inside is one compartment. You have your branding and some card slots. Large phone does fit perfectly. You get your dust bag. And the purple leather Rebecca Minkoff crossbody will be $48 as well. <coughs> then we have a Halston Heritage. Look at this little cutie. Halston Heritage black leather crossbody. You can probably adjust that to be a shoulder bag, gunmetal hardware. <coughs> It is a, <coughs> excuse me, a black embossed crock print. Look at how cute this is. I love this. Okay, so it has the pull. It's like a little bucket bag. Um, the pulls have the H on it for Halston Heritage. This one is longer, so cool. You have a pocket on the back. It is in beautiful condition, beautiful. And uh, really good condition. You undo the pull here. The inside along the top has suede. And then the inside has your branding. I'm going to pull it out for you. Halston Heritage. And that's a slip pocket. My big phone does fit. Okay, and you can drawstring it closed too. Okay. 
So Halston Heritage black leather crock embossed mini bucket bag, $45. It's in really good condition. Then we have Mark by Mark Jacobs. This one is so pretty and also in very good condition. This is a crossbody bag. You can adjust it, but it will actually, let's see. This is the shortest. Nope, it's gonna stay crossbody. Um, black leather with silver tone hardware. You can remove the strap if you would like. Um, it has Mark by Mark Jacobs on the hardware here. And on the top, it has yellow, blue, pink, or like a coral color on both sides. It is in excellent condition. It's like a little camera bag style purse. The uh, hardware is in excellent condition. You're gonna open up the bag and you have the inside with some leather card slots. My big old phone does fit, no problem. Beautiful leather on this, I love it. Mark by Mark Jacobs, $48. All right, now we have for my horse lovers, this is a crossbody bag in black leather. It does not adjust, <coughs> but look at the embossing. It's all horses, all horse heads. So it's unbranded, so you can just say the black leather horse bag. Um, there is a zipper pocket on the back. It is in excellent condition. You can even use this like if you're um, like an equestrian, you can wear this and maybe keep some treats in it. I don't know. I just really liked it. It's got the fabric interior and then there are no pockets on the inside. I just thought this was so pretty. No brand, but the horse embossing is so cute. Phone does fit and it does close. Super cute. And we're gonna do the leather horse bag for 25. <coughs> All right, next up we have Brighton. This bag is so nice. This is a brown leather and patent leather snake embossed crossbody bag. You can adjust this to be a shoulder bag. It has the silver plated hardware. Um, it has like a pebbled leather um, strap. Nice chunky hardware. <coughs> One side of the bag has a pocket, pouch pocket. The other side does not. The bottom and corners are leather and are in good condition. The inside is a zipper closure. And the inside is one compartment. You have your Brighton Creed there with your slip pockets and zip. Zip on that side. There are two very, very tiny stains down there. There's one right there and the other one is right there. And then, <clears throat> where is it? Along one of the zippers, you can see, yeah, I think it's along this zipper. You can kind of see the glue residue coming through um, the fabric. But that is how the bag is manufactured. There's nothing wrong with it. So beautiful, Brighton. Okay, and we're gonna do this one for 50, five zero. It is so nice. Put you over there. Oh, let me put you over here, actually. All right. <clears throat> we have a Hobo International, which might be um, might be vintage. I'm not sure. Could be borderline. Hobo International crossbody. You can adjust it. It will stay crossbody. Silver tone hardware. It is a black leather, smaller size. You have two pockets on the front that have magnet closures. I did condition this bag because she was dry. All right, you have the zipper pocket on the back. 
Oh yeah, Dallas? <coughs> Excellent bottom and corners. The um, zipper does, the zip, zipper pulls do say hobo. <coughs> Your interior says hobo international with a zipper pocket and slips. And there you go. So black leather, Hobo International crossbody, and we're doing this for $38, 38. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the littles, and then I will pause and we'll do the rest. Um, that's like the shoes and other things. So up first is a phone crossbody bag. It is brand new with the tag. It is Vegan Leather, stop, <laughs> by Mellow World. It is a like nice bright green snake print with a gold tone. It is brand new. It does have the Comfort Faux Leather on the top, crossbody bag. Um, so you put your phone inside and you can still use it being still in the bag. So you have the front section here where you can put like your keys and like a wallet or something like that. It's a silica pack. And then you put your phone back here. And I do suggest taking your case and pop socket off so it fits best. And then you can use it still while it's in the bag, okay? So brand new by Mellow World. And we're gonna do this for 20 bucks. Then we have a Michael Kors wristlet. This is the Michael Kors collection, top of the line, um, leather wristlet with, this is like a neo, neoprene, it's like a foam, like neoprene, I think it's called. Um, and it says Michael Kors all over it with the leather trim. It's in like new condition. Uh, silver tone Michael Kors right there. And there is your Michael Kors collection inside. You can, let me see. Okay, my, yes, okay, my phone does fit 13 Pro Max, but I would suggest taking the case and the pop socket off if you wanted to fit it. But really nice, I've never seen one like this before, and we're gonna do this for 20 bucks. <clears throat> then I have a coach wristlet. This is um, a little bit larger and leather, black leather. Here's your wristlet strap. You have a white leather hang tag, silver tone hardware. It is in really, really nice condition. You have a twist lock front with a green interior. And then you have the interior, which has a slip pocket. Beautiful condition, black leather, coach wristlet, $23. Lastly, we have a new without tag, Patricia Nash blue leather card holder. It's like um, it's like a lighter blue, like um, cornflower blue maybe. So you have the Patricia Nash, you have card slots here. You open this up, you have more card slots. Drop this down, more card slots. This still has the original paperwork in it where your ID goes. And then if you want to fold up some cash, you can put it in the top zip compartment. Okay, so brand new without tag, a Patricia Nash card holder, 23. Okay, I'm going to put the ordering instructions up on the screen one more time and then we are going to continue. Okay, so make sure you guys are refreshing the video before you check the sold list down in the comment section before you email me. Okay, so I have this scarf. Um, it was on one of the bags when I bought it. I thought it went with the bag, but then when I looked at the scarf when I got it home, it's a completely different brand. So I took it off. Um, I don't know the fabric content of it, but I do know that it is Adrian Vitadini and it has all of these like, you know, 
little flowers on it with like the type of plant and flower that it is. Um, it does say Adrian Vitadini on it right here on the bottom. And there are a couple teeny little like holes, not really holes, they're like pulls. You're not gonna see it when you're wearing it and it's gonna be, well, there's a few right there. There's a few. So um, I'm gonna sell it as is for just $5, okay? If anyone's interested in that, it is black. Um, all right, so <laughs> I have these animal socks. I only opened one and looked inside. So what I'm gonna do is as I'm showing them to you, I'm gonna give them a number. So it'll be easier for you to um, email me with an order. So when, what I mean by animal socks, aren't these so cute? And they're actually a really nice material. Okay, they're not like a, they're like actually like a cottony type of fabric. So we're gonna sell them one at a time and I'm gonna write down each one with the numbers. They're all gonna be $3 and they would, you know, they're kind of maybe like um, a little bit over the, over the ankle socks. All right, so these are cheetah. So we're gonna write this down and number one is the cheetah. All right, and they're $3. These are all brand new, okay? So you have the cheetah is number one. Let's see what this one is. This one looks like a dog. <laughs> oh my God, these are so funny. So they, you know, your foot would be probably that long. Okay, and again, Um, so number two is dog. Okay. Number three is cat, maybe? Well, we're going to go with cat on this one. Okay. We're going to go with cat. Number three, these are all $3 each, okay? And this one is a tiger. Okay, tiger. Tiger is number four. Number four is tiger. These are awesome. Okay, I got another pack, so I don't think they're the same. <laughs> okay, number five is um, emu. We're gonna go with emu. It might be ostrich, but we're gonna go with emu. Oh my God, these are so funny. So it would like, Okay, so number five, we're gonna go with emu, okay? Number six, oh, we got, we got a, an alligator. We're gonna go with alligator on this one. Okay, alligator. And again, these are all a nice fabric. So this is number six, alligator. These are all $3. Number seven is, what are you? Okay, this is also a cat, but this is not a ginger cat. So the, the first one that I showed, the other cat was a ginger cat. This one is a black We'll, we'll call it black and gray cat. So number seven is black and gray cat. Whoops. Okay. Number eight 
Okay, black and gray cat is number seven. Number eight, this is the last one. <laughs> I think this is a deer. Or an antelope. We're just going to go with deer to, um, you know, for argument's sake. We're going to go with deer. Okay. So again, very funny. Love these. So number, number eight, we're just going to say is a deer. It might be something else. Um, we're just going to go with deer for argument's sake. All right. Number eight, deer. And again, they're $3 each very very cool all right let's go with the shoes now so we have first pair up is a pair of black leather fit flop fit flop so these are like the wear them and you work out type of thing um, they have about an inch little wedge they're a slip-on loafer they're in very good used condition like very very good condition um, they're size eight, and we're gonna do these for 20 bucks. Next up, we have a pair of Jack Rogers, very nice brand, Jack Rogers. These are a two and three fourths inch espadrille cork open toe wedge shoe. These are in really nice condition as well. Um, these are a size seven and we are going to do them for $20 as well. Then we have a pair of Converse low top sneakers. These are like an off white with the white, red and blue um, sole. These are a size eight women's or six in men's. They do have a little, a couple little marks around, but nothing super major, especially for being like an off-white color. So size eight or six in men's, and we're gonna do these for $18. Okay, let me put you over there. Then we have brand new in the box sneakers. These are so cute. They're not leather, but they sure do look and feel like leather. These are a size eight and a half. They're brand new. I mean, I, I would have thought these were leather. They're so well made. Brand new, these are a size eight and a half. I'm not gonna take the other one out because it's all wrapped up but I did look at them and they are in new condition. So um, kind of like a beige and brown sneaker, size eight and a half, brand new Oasis Society, size eight and a half, and we're gonna do these for $25. Then we have a pair of AGL, if you guys saw my reel, on Instagram, you saw me thrift these. Um, this is a very expensive brand. Um, these are flats in a size nine. They are leather. They have the leather um, toe. And I don't know what material this is. Uh, some type of le leather, maybe a new buck. Um, I would normally list these on my channel for, I mean on my eBay or Posh for probably around $50. I'm gonna offer these to you guys for 25. Very good condition, blue on blue. Everything is blue except for the like beige-ish right here with the strap. All right, so size nine, $25 AGL. Um, then we have a pair of Brighton. These are in really nice condition. These are great for the summer. If you love Brighton, pick these up. These are a size eight. These are called the Kayla. They are in really nice condition. They have a, I didn't measure, looks like two inch heel. Really, really nice shape, you guys. Very minimal wear. 
only to the soles. Okay, they are leather, they are croc embossed, and they are beautiful. Size eight, Brighton, and we're gonna do these for $28. They're in gorgeous condition. And then we have two Michael Kors. So the first ones come in a box. Okay, so they come with the box. They're not new, but they're in good condition. So we have a pair of loafers, a pair of flats, I should say. Really the only wear on it are the insoles right there at the top. I did clean and disinfect them, so don't worry. And a little bit on the soles. Um, but the rest, of the, the rest of the shoe is in great condition. You got the Michael Kors in gold tone here on the toe. This is a um, coated canvas with the leather trim in brown, two different tones of brown. Okay, these are in a size eight and a half. <laughs> Trying to show you all angles, really nice condition, okay? Size eight and a half, and they come in the box, and these are 20 bucks. And then we have a pair of calf hair ones, same style, but these are in a size six. They have the black leather with the calf hair, or um, hair on hide. And these are in a size six, but again, very, very good condition. And these are gonna be $23, okay? Size six. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Whew, all right, so I will have an unboxing next week for you. Um, so make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite bag of the haul was. Um, subscribe, it's free. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I will be back Monday, and I will be um, scheduling a purse auction and jewelry auction coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.